my dear friends uh, today in this video lecture i will discuss about to the similarity index and uh, what is its impacts on the research and researchers and how the indian government is serious about to taking the similarity index plagiarism and what are the policies that they defined it about to it right but with all this development there are some drawbacks uh, which basically uh, personally i feel uh, that it uh, some more points should be included in it so how to define the plagiarism for that there are some certain points related to the similarity index and this similarity index basically is observed by the computer by the machine and then after either some people based on the result that is defined by the computer or machine and some people basically check the articles manually so there is a ugc regular regulation and which is known now uh, uh, ugc act 2018 for the academic and research honesty so here first of all uh, they define everything and every term associated with the similarity index and uh, why it is more important into the academic and uh, research arena uh, for the research as well as to the academic integrity or on the other hand some people say is it about to the academic and research honesty it is basically an important point basically that plays the role for the knowledge society right so here uh, this is the gadget of the indian government associated with the uh, this 2018 act what are those points so here at page number 10 this is the seventh point seventh number similarity checks for exclusion from plagiarism there are three points which they mention that these three points are not subject to the plagiarism uh, number 1 all quoted work reproduced with necessary permission and or attribution so if you put any sentence or any words into the quoted inverted comma then it will not basically uh, conflict uh, with the uh, similarity index uh, provided you are giving the credit to the source right and second point is about to the references bibliography table of content preface acknowledgement in terms of the book uh, they will not be considered as a part of the similarity index and third is all generic terms laws standard symbols and equations are exempted from the similarity index if you want to know more about to the academic uh, honesty or the act ugc act 2018 so you uh, can see the link which is given below and uh, i hope when you are looking or watching this video it is obvious that you belongs to the research community and you are aware about to the 2018 act now this point is of importance uh, and uh, my focus to make this video actually uh, those on, on the basis of the first point level 0 point so what should be the punishment that is the different thing but here uh, what is the criteria on which the similarity index are, or uh, what are those point basically which has been considered here right uh, to judge the level of plagiarism so as per the act uh, the number one point plagiarism would be quantified into following levels in ascending ascending order of severity for the purpose of its definition so at number one they mention this is level 0 if similarity is up to the 10% then there is no penalty and uh, it is considered as minor similarities i don't want to go at level 1 and level 2 level 3 because uh, i have some objection at this point and that objection i want to share with you all and then after you decide it should be part of it or not 
I have taken a reference, uh, a research paper reference, uh, by which they define that what should be included into it when uh, one have to judge the plagiarism of any article or have to carry into that sense where the penalties basically are associated with the uh, copy paste material, uh, right, in a simple language. So at level zero, uh, as per this rule, they define that it is acceptable, right? There is no penalty. And uh, again, you can find out all these information from this uh, link, through this link, uh, which is for the UGC regulation 2018. So uh, what are the penalties in case of uh, level zero? Similarities up to 10%, minor similarities, no penalty, but one have to improve it. This is acceptable. As such, uh, the similarity index should be zero, but it could not be possible for everyone to re reduce it at zero. Why it is not possible? Because I will point out something which is very important and never discussed uh, anywhere, right? Uh, and you will also basically surprise when you will see it. Uh, uh, this thing is um, saying confidently that you had never heard about to it. Uh, so at level zero, there is no penalty. This is called minor similarities, right? But uh, when similarity lies between ten percent to forty percent, one have to basically ask to withdraw withdraw the manuscript or paper or anything else right so this is the point and this point is discussed at 12.2 uh, in the gadgets right and uh, now the next thing next thing is very important first thing is that uh, if you are writing a research article a regular research article and you got it there uh, in references section 10 or 15 references that means uh, it is very clear that you are taking some idea right or something else which is in favor of your experimental calculation results or theoretical calculation or results because of that, you are quoting some references. You are actually uh, putting the foundation of your research. So you have to write something. And because of that, you had considered some references into the introduction. Many people use into the uh, methodology when they define uh, the research methodology, the theoretical model or calculation. And uh, it is obvious that uh, uh, how basically the trend is going on and what the trend basically is about to a particular research or what the basically result someone had observed earlier. So uh, to put into that uh, line, right, that your results are consistent to the other calculation or other observation or experimental results. So in the result section also many researchers put this citation. So if you are considering in a regular research article some references, some references means at least 15 references. So at least you are quoting there uh, 15 ideas that these are either uh, in your own languages or in terms of the results or in terms of the research methodology. So automatically uh, one can consider that if you are considered there 15 references, it is obvious the similarity uh, is associated with 15 research articles. Right? I don't know that uh, what would be the uh, similarity index, overall similarity index, but if you are considering the references there, 15 references there, it means you are aware that this type of calculation results or trend of the research or a formulation or the idea 
has been used in to this particular article so if you are using some technique by which you are not uh, the machine is not able to quote you about to the idea right then uh, really you are perfect person but uh, uh, if uh, right if uh, uh, you are not basically uh, uh, and uh, on the other hand one can say that uh, the reference which is not basically quoted in uh, which is basically uh, the idea is not written there and you are not a machine is not able to catch that thing it means uh, the reference is wrong but uh, the point is the I, I want to highlight this point actually if you are using 12 or 13 or 20 or 100 references in review papers so it means uh, those idea basically you are taking in your research article whether that is a regular research article or a review article my means to convey here that you are taking some ideas right there are some points basically uh, which uh, which you had mentioned in your research article so now in that case right if you are considering 15 or 20 references in your research article so what should be the criteria to judge the similarity index and what should be what would be it right does it, it uh, in a regular research article when you are mentioning 15 or 20 references does uh, can you believe the reference uh, the similarity index would be zero or it would be 10 right so this is the point so here we have to look actually uh, the references are uh, together or when we are considering the similarity index along with one more important point that i will discuss into the next slide with the proof of the research uh, paper that published how to basically the editors have to consider uh, the particular uh, committee in case of the penalties about to the similarity index we should not rely on the the machine but uh, manually one have to check it right so this was important point from my side and i uh, i believe that if you are considering number of references that means you are taking the idea from those articles and it could not be possible that the similarity index will be uh, less than uh, the number of references which you had considered in your research article if it is uh, less than the number of references then uh, it is a great thing that you uh, basically are expert to hide the uh, content of that particular reference or particular uh, citation which you had basically in uh, cons considered in the your research article uh, it is going long and uh, every time my purpose is saying that the references basically is quoted uh, because you have some idea of that particular research paper here when you are uh, basically defining or writing introduction or analyze the calculation or uh, 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 results right so at that time basically you are aware about to that and uh, if suppose there is no similarity index you are expert what should be the limit uh, for a regular research article or a review article about all these things that these in this should be similar to index right there is one confliction with the references and second confliction is with the single match similarity index in UGC Act 2018 Act actually they did not mention about to the individual source right single match similarity index is very important parameter which basically is not considered to analyze or to uh, the in case of the penalties penalties suppose uh, one person has got only 10 uh, percent similarity index and that 10 percent similarity index comes from only one source or suppose that comes from the two sources whether it is 6 with the equal ratio 5 to 5 or 6 to 6 or 7 to 3 like that but in every case we observe that one one reference will have 
मोर देन टू और थ्री और फोर परसेंट कंट्रीब्यूशन इन टू द रिसर्च आर्टिकल इफ इट इज सो देन वट शुड बी द्राइटेरिया ऑफ द पेनल्टी देन देर इज नो ऑप्शन फॉर इट इन टू द यू जी सी टू थाउजेंड एटीन एक्ट माई रिक्वेस्ट इज टू दंसर्न अथॉरिटी दैट प्लीज इंक्लूड द इंडिविजुअल सोर्स कंट्रीब्यूशन इन टू द सिमिलरिटी इंडेक्स not only the overall similarity index but single max similarity index also plays the equal role right here in this uh, paper of the jan you can see that if uh, similarity index is greater than 10% individual individual similarity index is greater than 10% you have to reject the article and then there should be some penalty right Uh, from my point of view, not than one percent uh, from the individual source, the contribution should come in a research article. So, if you are saying that overall ten percent similarity index, it's okay, right? But together, it you have to add one more term that is the single match similarity index or individual source index. right contribution how much percentage basically is there so uh, as an example that i had quoted here if overall similarity index is 10% but that is coming from the uh, only from the two sources or coming from the one sources then you can imagine the potential right of that one so uh in case of the regular research article or in case of the review article uh, in both the uh, uh, way right it is very dangerous it is not a good practice that uh, the similarity index basically uh, comes at this level at this percentage from one source or two sources or three sources right it should not great uh, it should not be uh, greater than the 1% right we have to uh, a cap on the individual source also when we define the overall similarity index index so uh, what should be the acceptable range of the similarity index if similarity index overall is greater than 40% right here you, uh, as per to this paper and uh, on the other hand second thing is other uh, either this one or this one if overall similarity index is greater than 40% right or single match similarity index is greater than or equal to 10% then reject the paper but in our case in our model in our act we had missed this individual source contribution right so what should be the acceptance range of the overall similarity index as per to this one this is 25% and you can imagine that if you are writing a regular research article at least you will quote 10 to 15 or more than 15 uh, references if you are considering 15 references it is must that at least a uh, uh, 15% or not uh, if there is a length of the paper is too much then Uh, at least half percent you can consider and then at least uh, 10% 12% uh, as overall similarity index you can see right but it never happens uh, right so the thing is that the overall similarity index should remain around 20% but the individual source the percentage of that should remain less than 1 or 1 right here they mention 3% 3% is again too much so uh, the individual source contribution comes around 1% or uh, in uh, review paper it might be 2% but overall it should remain less than 1 or 1% so this is the point that uh, we are missing in our uh, 2000 ugc 2018 act that is the uh, single uh, match similarity index if you will include it one it will basically uh, give a clear picture and uh, together it when someone basically in a committee check the plagiarism similarity index 
one have to basically uh, check it very carefully sometimes the reference uh, sometimes the individual sources that machine basically mention they are either website or there is no clear uh, proof that the content is taken from this source so that part should be avoided only the part which basically if uh, we are checking and we are reliable on only the machine then only in that case so we have to consider only the journal's website right or uh, the particular website where the thing basically is mentioned very clearly but if there is an expert of the subject and check the plagiarism of the article then uh, at, uh, in a critical situation when we are 100% uh, sure that someone has basically copied someone idea as it is and didn't give the uh, credit to the source original source only in that case if the expert person is sitting there so it is uh, very common that a person who is expert in their subject are aware that uh, the idea basically which was which is written by the author is their own or copied from some other places right so together the machine one expert is must there who basically uh, genuinely uh, find out the uh, uh, output of the plagiarism so this is my suggestion that uh, please consider the references also uh, when you uh, look or judge the similarity index so how it could be possible that if you are considering 15 percent or 20 uh, 20 references so your similarity index will come below the 20 percent on the other hand if you are writing an, a review article and using 100 citations right 100 references you had quoted there in your text so how it could be possible that your similarity index remain 40% uh, or less than 40% right so one thing is this and second thing is about to the single match similarity index that means individual source contribution right that should not be great uh, greater than one percent from my point of view but here in research article they mention three percent so this thing should be included into the act of the similarity uh, or plagiarism where all these things are mentioned so thank you thank you for uh, uh, listening me and observing the things uh, you can express it in your own way and uh, it would be great uh, that the people basically know everything about uh, to the similarity index and uh, plagiarism and by this way actually we can sensitize the people on the other hand if i have to explain it uh, uh, the root uh, cause behind of this problem so root cause is in schools where basically a teacher always encourages students uh, uh, children uh, to complete their home uh, to complete their class work by referencing uh, by giving a reference or by giving a notebook of uh, intelligent students to complete the work class work if the student if the children uh, yeah, if the child basically uh, was absent into the classroom and then after when students submit the assignment they just copy to each one and uh, by this way basically they learn the and uh, during the research time basically it becomes the part of their behavior and they don't think uh, there is a, a problem in this kind of activity so the root cause in schools and we have to modify we have to sensitize the schools about to the uh, copy paste culture and uh, about to the uh, classwork how to basically complete the classwork so it should be uh, a part to sensitize uh, uh, from the beginning and and then uh, we can basically minimize uh, these things so these were some points from my side and i hope that uh, with this length of the video i uh, try to convey that this is the problem and these are the solution where we have to basically correct the thing so thank you once again for uh, watching this uh, video and uh, please uh, let me know if I, uh, uh, I did some mistake anywhere. Uh, you just commented uh, that this was the wrong point 
and if you notice that uh, the these are the points so uh, uh, which i had shared uh, you observed first time please uh, comment into the comment box thank you